from sunny Los Angeles. I'm out here in Lamert Park and I'm about to meet with Taco Mel to make some banging quesadillas. I'm Eden Hagos, AKA Black Foodie, here with Pepsi Digan. So let's check it out. Hey, hey how, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Likewise, good to see you as good well. To see you too. Okay, so I know you have like the best tacos in the yeah. city. What inspired you to become a chef? I was 21 years old. You know, I was working a security job and I was only making you know, 600 bucks every two weeks. And at the time, it was 2011, you know, and I was having my daughter for our baby shower, we booked the taco lady. And we paid her 500 bucks. I'm like, man, I make this every two weeks. And I went to buy a taco cart. I actually borrowed $500 from my sister. You know, I set it up in the backyard and I was just practicing in the backyard for months. You know, I was inviting friends over, seeing what they thought about it and everyone loved it. I actually went out on the corners. I started setting up in the city of Compton. I posted on Instagram and the line, you know, it's long, you know, every single time. What was it like transitioning from a taco cart to an actual, you know, brick and mortar restaurant? I mean, it was tough because, you know, I have, I had no restaurant experience. I've never worked in a restaurant before. And, uh, and I went to the restaurant supply place to start buying equipment. And, you know, the guy, um, he told me, he like, man, what are you doing here? You know, you got any, you got a set of plans? I said, what is that? You know, you, know, you have to hire, hire an architect and you have, he has to draw out your plans. And you have to submit it to the health department. I'm like, oh man, so now, you know, I'm all I'm lost. Kind of gave me a setback, you know, and it, it a two-year setback. You know, I was paying rent every single month for two years, and you know, eventually, once the second year came, you know, I caught the owners of the building up, you know, letting them know, hey, I mean, I've been renting from you guys for two years. Can you guys give me a loan to open up? You can raise my rent. You know, I was that confident. You know, I know I'll do well here, and uh, they gave me a loan, and I. Got the equipment, I did my plans, I submitted it to the health department, and I opened up. You know, even when I was down, I knew the potential. You know, I always had, I always had that in mind. Like, I know it would do well in this area, Lamert Park. I have a great, great team, so if I'm feeling down, you know, they'll pick me back up. What does it feel like when you see people enjoying your food? I mean, it feels great. I just love to see the people's reactions. So Mel, you've been telling me all about this food. I'm so ready to try it. Can we get some quesadillas? Let's go. I'm making chicken. I'm about to grill some chicken up. Okay. Get it seasoned up. My steak. Okay. My double bell of the grills. I like to I like to get it out the way fast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what separates your quesadillas from like the traditional Mexican ones that you'll find in LA? Um, it's the flavors and it's the cheese that we use. We use the um, Monterey Jack mixed with the cheddar. It's a steak seasoning that I use. I get it special made. We do all our mixing. We add our, you know, our touch to it. You know, like I said, I measure every single drop that goes on the meat. Like I know it goes on 10 pounds with my eyes closed. I heard you also have like some peppers that you get. Oh yeah, the guajillo peppers. Yeah. What are those? Can you talk to me about that? That goes on my um, wet burritos. But you, you can get that sauce on the side. I make it from scratch. Um, you have to boil the guajillo peppers up, you know, add garlic, onions, and it's a, it's a great sauce. So on this journey, you've had a lot of ups and downs, mm -hmm. but you've persevered. Right. Who are some of your day ones that you've like, seen you through it? My guy, AD. Like, we grew up together in the city of Compton. Yeah, he was with me before, you know, I started my business. And even when I want to communicate about my issues, you know, I call him. Like I said, the restaurant industry is, you know, it's always problem solving, you know. You're, you're definitely gonna need, you know, someone to talk to. So, we're here at Taco Mel's spot. Flagship. Flagship, yeah. yeah. And I hear you guys have been friends for a long time. Very, very long time. Probably over 20 years now. He's <laughs> okay. really transformed to a real businessman. Really? He was just, just like any other teenager, trying to figure out his own way. I'm glad to see that you've saw him, like, you know, evolve over the years. Yeah. Talk to me about Mel in his early days of the Taco Mel and where he's at right now. I mean, Mel could always cook. He come from a family of people that can cook. Sometimes I used to just go over there, yeah. his brother would make chicken wings, Mel, he'd be making tacos, and his tacos was always like top notch. Really? Yeah, always, always. So you knew he had something? I didn't know that like, you know, it could turn to a business, because you know, as a young man, you don't think like, the homie can own a store one day. You don't think about stuff like that. He's like, he could cook. Your mama could cook, but she ain't got a store or a restaurant. What does it mean to the community now to see him winning and growing? For, especially for a young black man to have his own restaurant that everybody knows, like this is now like a legendary spot. And what would you say this community means like Lamert Park? It, you know, it just symbolizes 
black art, black business over here. Um, if you ever come over here on a Sunday, you'll see a lot of people outside and everybody's just having a great time, showing love to each other. So AD, when you first saw lines of people, you know, standing out for Taco Mel, what did you think? Uh, hopefully I can still cut the line and get my tacos <laughs> first. You know, like, like I said, for somebody to try something and it not only be successful, but it works and you know, helping other people along the way, like that's amazing. He's the type of guy that he will give his all to the people that he loves. He'll give you the shirt off of his back. Okay, I'm really excited for this quesadilla and I think I want mine the same way that you make yours. We'll add a little oil to the grill. Okay. Mel, how does it feel to know that your um, quesadillas are gonna be at the MGM Resorts International? I mean, it's, de it's definitely uh, an honor. You know, um, Vegas is about to get a taste of, you know, what I've built. And how does it feel that Pepsi Dig In chose you for the residency? Man, I couldn't believe it, you know? I'm like, what? A residency at the MGM? You're like, what? I'm like, is this a fake email? Really? You know, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, as time went on, I knew it was real. And I was ex I've been excited every single day. You know, I, I can't even sleep. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Let's, let's eat. Let's go. But first. Cheers. Cheers. Mel, how do I start with the quesadilla? What's the best toppings? Where do we go? Um, I like to, you know, balance it out with a little bit of sour cream. Let's grab one. Ooh, it's nice and crispy yeah. and greasy. Yep. So okay. I dip it in the sour cream. Okay. You know, balance that, you know, the flavors out. Mm -hmm. And I go for whatever sauce I want right now. I'm going to go for the guajilla. Yeah. Guajilla? Okay. Next we're, do, next we're going to do the chipotle. Ooh. Hidden. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. You got like the chipotle. crunchiness. Yeah. Now these quesadillas are good, but they're even better with Pepsi. Mm. What's next? Like, what's the future? Uh, I want to franchise Taco Mel. You know, I want to you know, spread this thing all across the United States. It's amazing. I think getting into Las Vegas. Right. The MGM Resorts International is going to definitely it's help. Oh, for you sure, know. for sure. Yeah. You know, they have a broader audience, you know. It's going to help me out tremendously. Mel, you've come a long way. Right. Do you have any advice for up and coming chefs? Me coming up in the restaurant business, you know, there's a bunch, a bunch of obstacles. You know, there's problem solving every day. You know, there's failing. You know, a lot of restaurants fail, you know, and they give up, you know. My, my word of advice is just never give up, you know, no matter the obstacles. You know, just fail forward. True, you came up on top and I'm excited for what's next for you. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready to eat more. <laughs> <laughs> Those quesadillas were delicious and I can't wait for you to try a truly LA dish at the MGM Resorts International. I'm Edin, AKA Black Foodie with Pepsi Dig In. See you in the next one.